Southwest continues hold on power, and Bob Briskey is sentenced to prison, eventually discloses he is a man. Details now. The world news at six begins with the Northern Caucus of the Labour Party requesting the national chairmanship position through the Forum of Northern Labour Party Chairman and Secretaries. VOP News gathered that the embattled national chairman of the party, Gina Saburi, is from Edo State in the South South region. However, in a statement issued during a press briefing in Abuja State, uh, in Abuja or rather in Belchi State today, the forum convener Husseini Sadaki stressed the need to unite the party without factions. Nevertheless, the National Publicity Secretary Obiora Ifo mentioned that the party has progressed beyond the contention for the national chairman role. VOP News understands that Saraki suggested that the leadership of the party should be zoned to the north for inclusivity and fairness. Aburi was re-elected as the Labour Party's national chairman on March 27 during the party's controversial national convention in Inewi Anambra State. The Nigerian Labour Congress deemed the convention and its outcome as unlawful. In response, the Umbrella Labour Union established a transition committee to assume control of the party's operations across the country until a comprehensive national convention could be organized. Meanwhile, the All Progressives Congress today swore in a seven-man committee to oversee the screening of the 16 governorship aspirants in the state. VOP News understands that the aspirants bought the 50 million Nara nomination forms to participate in the April 20 primary election in Ondo State. The inauguration, which took place today at the national headquarters of the APC in Abuja, had some members of the National Working Committee in attendance. The party's national chairman, Dr. Abdullahi Gandije, and the national secretary, Ajibola Basiru, were, however, absent at the oath taking event administered by the deputy national organizing secretary of the APC, Inze Chididu. The screening committee is headed by a former deputy governor of Gombe State, Joshua Lidani, while the former member of the House of Representatives, Bimbo Daramola, was sworn in as the secretary. Addressing journalists after the oath taking ceremony, Dury explained that the screening of aspirants before every primary election is in line with the constitution of the party. Elsewhere, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has said the Minister of Works, Dave Umahi, lied about the cost of the 700 kilometer Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway project. The People's Democratic Party presidential candidate in the 2023 election also faulted the minister for his statement that the Coastal Highway project will tentatively cost 15.6 trillion naira. Umahi, during an appearance on some television stations on Thursday, said the project would cost 15.6 trillion naira, which is about $13 billion, at an exchange rate of 1,200 naira to a dollar, while the rail, which will pass through the road, will be cost separately. The former governor of Ibain State also said the project would not be a public-private partnership, but the federal government would provide 15% to 30% counter counterpart financing. Responding to Imahi's comments in a statement today by his media office, Atiko said the tentative cost of the project would be more than 15.6 trillion naira, and the cost was the equivalent of the total budget of all 36 states of the Federation combined. The former vice president noted that the project was included in the 2024 budget as the Lagos Port Harcourt Coastal Highway and cost 500 million naira, adding that the amount announced by Umahi did not include the cost of the railway component. Atiku wondered how much the project would cost if the railway component was included. He also blamed Omahi for ordering the project's initial plan after Goba Choguri's high tech was awarded the contract without any competitive bidding. Elsewhere, Renault Omotri, a social political analyst, has claimed that the North and South will continue to control political power in Nigeria. Omokri said both regions will continue to yield political power over Nigeria due to their unity and humility. 
Posting on X, the former presidential aide said other regions will assume control of political power in Nigeria when they learn humility and unity from the north and western parts of the country. According to Omokri, he said, and I quote, Sadly, as long as Nigeria remains one united country, northern Nigeria and the southwest of Nigeria will continue controlling power in the political sphere like a tennis ball because of their unity and humility. One will do eight years, God willing, and pass the ball with their racket of unity to the other, who will do their own eight years and pass the ball back. Only the death of an incumbent president can temporarily break that circadian rhythm, and that is even if that occurs, the pendulum swing will be readjusted back to its original factory settings during elections, and equilibrium will be retained, except other region learn unity and humility from these two blocks, the political tennis game of back and forth will continue. In a recent development, the Federal High Court in Lagos has sentenced controversial cross-dresser and social media celebrity Idris Okunaya, also known as Barbariski, for six months' imprisonment. Justice Abimbola Awoburu handed down the six-month sentence without the option of a fine. The controversial celebrity has been in the custody of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, ESCC, since his arrest last week. He was arrested by the ESCC for abusing the local currency. Fabrisky had earlier in April 5 pleaded guilty to a four count charge of NARA abuse brought against him by the anti graft agency. Delivering judgment today, Justice Awoguru held that the act of mutilating the NARA notes has become a menace which has continued to damage the image of the country. Justice Awoguru subsequently sentenced Bobrisky to six months imprisonment without an option of fine. The prison term will start counting from the date of his remand. The justice asked about just. Uh, the justice asked about Bob Risky's, Bob Risky's gender and he claimed officially that he was male. A prison word in an attendant has stated that he'll be kept in the male prison word and furthermore will be protected. You're currently listening to the World News at 6 on Voice of the People 92.3 FM. We'll take a short break. When we return, more news and we'll go ahead into a news analysis, analysis segment. Just stay with us. Hello there, welcome back. This is still the World News at 6 on Voice of the People, 90.3 FM. At the moment, this is our news and analysis segment. And I actually have via the telephone uh, a legal practitioner, uh, also NBA Secretary Ekpe Branch. His name is Are Adewale Are, Barista Are, Dotson Hassan. Good evening, good evening, how are you? Yes, thank you so much for staying on with me this evening on the World News at 6. I want to start off re uh, with the recent situation of Bob Risky uh, being apprehended and to be kept in the ESCC custody for six months without an option of fine. Um, Omoye Lishowara was able to reveal uh, via social media today when President Bola Ahmed Tunibu was in a gathering some time ago and, you know, a bundle of cash was extending to other people, although netizens criticized Shore leaking that video. And Shore was saying that the president should be arrested too if that is how it is done. 
So Bobriski, who is a first-time offender, is being asked to stay in prison and without an option of fine. Meanwhile, Omefiele earlier today was granted bill 50 million naira with a shorty of two persons in like mind. So the, the thing is, they are saying that the offense between Emefiele is more weighty than that of Bobriski, who is committing a first-time offense, and they are granting him. They're not granting him bail. Neither are they even asking that he should pay any fine, but should stay in prison custody for six months. What's your take on that? All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. The, 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 to, to get a point. No, no, there must be less reals and actors real. Those are the two principles of crime. That is the, 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 the causal link. That is what really led you to that crime. There must have been that mental thought to commit that crime and the physical manifestation of that crime. Okay. Then, if you have both at the same time, the, 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 the unfortunate situation about this is the fact that um, Bob Risky, um, Mr. Uh, Onarawadi, uh, Okoleye, mm -hmm. was invited by the EFCC on, the, on an alleged video of him at various parties paying money. And he honored that invitation. He pleaded with the EFCC, EFCC charged him to court. Mm -hmm. He got to the EFCC, uh, he was at the court. He made it very, um, Similar because he, at the EFCC, he never countered the allegation because these are prima facie evidence. It doesn't matter either first time offender or second time offender. Offense is offense and the law is crypto senso. So we don't have to be too sensational about the use of the law. But what really um, brings us to considering what about his motives? What about his remorseful conduct? Yeah. Aftermath of all these offenses. Then what do we really intend to achieve with the punishment? If it is about this arrest, I'm sure this is almost the second um, entertainer that has been sentenced or been, been, been having um, court cases in respect of mm -hmm. paying money as part. But be that as it may, in as much as he still he pleaded guilty before the court, that means that yeah, we are not talking about being here. He was supposed to plead not guilty and we will still be taking up the matter. But he felt that pleading guilty you know, and taking for an acquittal will reduce um, the, maybe the pain in the neck. I'm sure he might have been advised by the lawyer or even some persons. I don't know. I cannot de defend that. But he, 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 he has the right to, 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 to plead not guilty. Even for the fact that that was an offense committed on the face value, he still has the right to plead not guilty. That is his discussion. But even if he pleads guilty, and he appealed that, oh, it should be granted non-custodial mm -hmm. uh, sentencing or fine, which is an option. Especially now that we now have a a, 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 um, a, a judicial system that recognizes non-custodial sentences. In order to reduce the amount of um, um, uh, persons that are, the, the amount of uh, over over uh, populated uh, prison uh, inmates that we have been faced with. So All right. That is in the essence of this non custodial. But the, the issue is that he pleaded guilty, but the court, on his own merit, just sentenced him only six months without looking at all those appeals. That is the judge for you. You cannot be blamed the judge for taking that decision. But where he says life now, he still has the right to appeal, even for the fact that he has been guilty. He can still, on that same premise, he's going to appeal. But that is uh, appeal pending. The, the the case it can still appeal. It can appeal for bail pending appeal. It can be, as a lawyer I can ask, I can okay now that you are said we can appeal then we apply for bail pending appeal. Okay, let it's me ask you something. Court. Are allowed to has an esquire. So let's say at the court, right? Evidences were produced, questions were asked. Why was his defense counsel, that is Bob Risk's defense counsel, not able to pose the fact that he's a first time offender and so possibly there should be a form of leniency or rather than staying in prison compulsorily for six months? 
get on that before the court. That is why the law is not respected, man. It doesn't mean that if I see all that, it's at the, the discretion of the judge to so say, okay, this is this person, okay, let me sentence. Everybody has their own motives. I'm not to blame the emotions of the judge or however the judge thought about taking that decision. But that decision has been reached. He has the right to appeal. All the right. The other way around. Okay. The other way around that we are looking up to is to look up to the presidency, to the office of the Attorney General of the Federation. To grant him pardon and amnesty, and so that on the prerogative of mercy, the president can grant him a prerogative of mercy, and he will be released and pardoned by the federal government of Nigeria. And by that, he can as well play those role of being an ambassador of promoting our caste, uh, 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 protection of the value of our caste, other than the mutilation. Mm. Because I'm so sorry, the spending of Naira will continue to become an offense because. Judges, um, uh, um, military officer, police officer, go to parties and spend money. Exactly. Go to wedding, spend money. Now it will not become an easy. These senators go to party now and they spend just one thousand naira. Even at the level of however it's going to be, citizens must begin to agitate that those people. Should be arrested. Funny. Okay, let's even see the situation. Like I said, in this in this same um, response or reaction you've given, Omo Yeleshoware actually the same, right? You know that he is a he is an activist, and of course he's the presidential candidate of the Action Alliance Congress. So now he's saying that uh, he leaked a video on social media via his ex account where he he showed the president at the time holding some Naira notes at an event, and Showare shared the video on his official ex handle. In, you know, today, after the uh, the judgment given by the justice concerning uh, Bob Risky, the cross-dresser. So, he's saying that the EFCC should also arrest the president, if that is what it means. Now, there were several reactions, though, from netizens concerning that as to the video that he released on social media saying it is not the same thing. But like you said, there are other public officials who have sprayed money on social media, other celebrities who have done so. So, others, and netizens are asking the question, is there something else? beyond the naira situation that the judge possibly needed bob risky to be punished for possibly maybe the cross-dressing or other allegations that were revealed by a particular individual named very dark man could it be that there is something beyond what was presented at court possibly to just punish the individual you know there were about four counters six counters two counters well. yes so, and because there were, there were, there were issues of money laundering that was also added up to the offense during the course of the investigation, even while it was that. But let's not be too much of a flag here. And that's what I want to correct the summary of the We look better than it. And we don't have to be so, so emotional. And that's why I've just made it clear. That's why there was an offense. The court, the judiciary is independent. The matter that you bring before, the judiciary don't go shopping for safety. In the things that you bring before you. But the, 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 the real thing is that this is an offense that has just been, been projected in the recent times by the CDN as a matter of all, you know, protecting the, the Naira mutilation and that which Naira has been going through all this while. But that law will stand in. Where we stand at our today, he knows that president is under immunity, governors are under immunity. But that doesn't make sure that, uh, uh, it, that offense this truly was committed in the face of the of the, the, the crime, not within maybe is not an offense committed or that is passed back. You can commit an offense now when you are not charged within the period of that offense that has been committed. There is a large part for every offense before it becomes a statute back. And it is not just in the manner that he is raising it now that the president is defended. He knows that will never happen. That would that would be misinforming the public. And it's more wider than that. When mm. we are standing to is that the law is the law. We don't have to be too, too over who have over the law to okay. the issues that we are. And that's why I'm raising a fundamental appeal to President uh, 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 to President Bonham mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and the Attorney General of the Federation because this is a federal offense. Please grant publicity pardon. Let our appeal be of pardon. Okay. Because the offense has been committed. So the only thing is that he do now is pardon, okay. or he goes to get the law to to to.
to appeal the judgment and also appeal for me pending appeal because it is not a capital offense. offense. These are just simple offense. Uh, mm. These are simple offense that they are the middle that can just be overlooked. But right. we have not took that thing that for the entire nation not to see it as a grand stand that, oh, because it's a sentence, let's mm. not begin to look for and shop for how the, you know, who are who to who is next. Well, well, one of the one of the wordings there, one of the wordings there said that since Bobrisky admitted that he is a man and not a woman, as he usually, you know, parades on social media, that he'll be put in the male custody because he asked for his gender identification, and he said he is a male. That is, he is a man, and that sets netizens agog with the conversation. So. What were all the stuff you were saying on social media as to the fact that you are now fully a woman and all the remarks you were making, which possibly could have been the genesis for this entire imbroglio? And they actually said they were going to protect him in the male custody from, you know, other persons who may want to possibly, you know, have him. We don't have to bring in the entertainment lifestyle, uh, don't treat, don't do the real world up here. All right. People meet people. But the risk is an entertainer. He believes in those in the, in the own line of protecting himself on the social media. And he's enjoying that flow because he has over 5 million. But if you have over 5 million on your account, on your social media handle, do you know how much you are making a day on that? So that is a business for him mm -hmm. at one end. So we don't have to now bring it down to a normal life. He's a man. And that's why I've addressed him as Mr. Um, you do so can I? All right. All right, let's look at let's let's look at the Calabar um, uh, uh, Abuja uh, Port Harcourt Coastal Highway, so the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway in Burglia, between um, the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and Dave Umahi. Now, Atiku Abubakar is actually asking the true cost of that. All right, he's saying that Dave Umahi lied about the cost of the 700 kilometer Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway project, and he's emphasizing in faulting the minister for his statement that the coastal highway project will tentatively cost 15.6 trillion naira rather than what was initially mentioned by the minister now this has caused the back and forth what does it take for Dave Umahi to be as transparent with the cost so that we move on and Nigerians want to know exactly how much money because they feel that the money estimated by the uh, the minister of works is too much possibly there are personal gains from the amount of money that is stated publicly what's your take on that no, uh, quite regrettably to mention this. Nigeria is the only country whereby one kilometer of road is that is that the instant try of an average politician who sits in the office, not on the on the on the on the market face value price of what is obtainable. The standard price, there is political price. This is what Mr. Omaya has just invented. If we talk procurement act, there is no due diligence about the cost analysis. Who provide, who, how do they arrive at that cost of that construction at that level? Well, an average engineer who knows the audience should not have just come up with just that humongous amount of money. That is good. And to, to run, you know, it, 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 it goes down the line that the big ones are not yet for. Mm. And for the fact that I'm an agent supporter of the Bola Mets Global before now, and even now, that means I have to still let him know the truth. Okay. Money like this should not be seen in our in our docket any longer. Money mm. like what um, uh, uh, we saw what um, maybe better I do uh, yes. uh, do yes. in our current yes. yes. We are seeing what um, the, the minister of interior stole while he's still a minister. Mm. This is a culture of corruption. No matter what your value or your 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 territory of your position, I'm not moved by that. This corrupt syndrome is affecting our society as citizens. They don't see it from the angle that we see. And that's why I want to call the National Assembly to order. If the National Assembly is not doing their duty, even the Nigerians will begin to think about recalling members that are done there. But well, let, let me ask you, let, let me ask you, Ariel Olander to have an Esquire. So this is the thing. A lot of people feel that this is the reason why the National Assembly was constituted the way it is. So there will be no questions or difficulties when things like this come out on the press. Nobody will question the presidency of the executive because they were all personally appointed based on the preference or favoritism of, you know, some members of the executive. So like you're asking, 
Why has the National Assembly not called to question Dave Umahi and this humongous amount of money that you're asking for? If Atiku Abubakar hadn't questioned Dave Umahi and possibly put it out there where a lot of people are talking about it, then maybe they would have passed on to it and monies would just be going and nobody would be asking questions. So, again, what now happens with other projects? Aside from Atiku asking those questions, Nigerians are more wise. I thought Atiku has given this problem. It's not one like every other Nigeria. But the major issue is the fact that there is failure of administrative power on the part of the this demise. Mm. And this system will not condone such process. Let him write it down. But are you yeah, sure? Yeah. Are you sure? A lot of people yeah. feel nothing will happen, yeah. that anything goes, so long as it's within the preference of the president. Let me tell you, Nigeria, as the leaders of Nigeria, it is not hunting you now, the combat or something like that. This is, this is, the world is going faster. So the way things are now being, for any average politician that is not conscious of his, of his uh, political um, um, uh, 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 um, integrity, mm. would definitely need, we would definitely need the water loop. When we are not calling for this, when the account are general? What is the amount of budget? Does this full out budget? Was this budget at four? Or this just the surplus expenditure that we are not, we did not capture before? Why are we on this premise of the mongers of inflated uh, contract? This is corruption at its peak. And it is highly condemnable. Uh, the right. National Assembly okay. was yes, go the ahead. procurement act that was violated as far as it goes. What what uh, the minister ought to just show the whole world is that this is the procurement compliance. Mm. We went through this. this okay, these are the, the people that bid it, but there was no bidding. There was no bidding yes, for the no contract. For any contract of federal government, there must be a bidding. To mm. transfer through process, the violation of those process is a criminal offense against the minister. We can can challenge as a lawyer tomorrow, and I have the right. I have right to challenge that. So as every citizen calling out right is a lender, you can go to court for the fact that you violated it. Where is the where is the bidding process? That is that is the law. Procurement has so that there must be proper bidding, then in bidding, including you must choose based on best standards. Who's there to to, to to verify and check the document of this that the only company you are bringing. So that what what do you think you you, you mentioned you mentioned you, you mentioned earlier that you're an avid supporter of President Paul Ahmed Tunibu. So yes, where is yes, he getting it? Yeah, okay, fine. As a so Okay, so where is he getting it wrong? We're beginning to have most of these anomalies, right? And malfeasance. So where is he getting it wrong? Is it that he doesn't know he's not being told? Or is it that he appointed the wrong persons who don't know what they're supposed to do? At the point of his of his swearing in, but you are doing this. If you calculate the system before something is going to fix up, policies, interpointees, and all that. Look at Buari. Buari waited for six, but even though he appointed no class thinkers at the end of the day, still cast and lost all our all, all our, our treasury to their personal wealth. This government ought to think for and reason properly. There are people that just found themselves around him. A lot of them are just political uh, predators mm. who do not think about you and I. And it's making that end of it. A lot of them go to their partners to commit of friends, sons, wife, and everybody. Everybody just took over the villa and took their, their, their own care of whatever they can say and which appointment went to them. We're all aware when that allegation of their sales of appointment was in the air. Mm. This is the system we are faced with. So we cannot try more than we believe now that we are now still the symptoms of who and who we have appointed. But if we cannot say that we, we, uh, maybe in, 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 in some other way that is trying to do. Let me tell you one thing. We are only just we are just moving on a on a slow motion without the no concrete of our advancement or to advance in this democracy. Mm. Before you know it now, they're already campaigning for president, exactly. which is an aberration. 
Exactly. It's on a very tough thank you. Too. Thank you, Ariel. Yeah, yeah. We've actually run out of time, but I want to say thank you so much for sharing your perspective on some of these issues raised on the world news at six. I sincerely do appreciate your input. Ariel Oladotun, Hassan Esquire is the President, Yoruba Council Worldwide, Secretary, NBA, Ekbe Branch. Thank you so much for giving us your input thank on you. the world news at six. And now to wrap up here again are uh, the top stories. You heard that the first crisis looms in Labour Party as North Caucus demands chairmanship slots. Ganduji absent as APC inaugurates Ondo governorship screening panel. Article fires Umahi on Calabar close to highway project. Ronald Mockery discloses North Southwest continuous hold on par. And Bob Briske is sentenced to prison, discloses he is a man. That's a wrap on the World News at 6. My name is Esther Wachiku. Good evening and thank you for listening. Up next is the Evening Rush with Precious. <laughs> 24-7 around the world. Non-stop. This